Hello, I'm back. Hello and welcome to another edition of Monthly Rumble Tournament. Number 8, I believe this is. And um, for uh, the second month in the row, well, second month in the row, yeah, that, that'd be right. I'm going to be uh, streaming in the games that I'm not playing. I'm, I'm going to be participating as well, so um, there'll be games from my point of view. And... Um, you know, only when I have time, and unfortunately as well, like, I, I it's my friend's uh, birthday today, um, and I don't really want to miss it, but at the same time, I didn't really want to just bail on this either, so, um, I might have to slink out maybe an hour before the end or something, grab a taxi, <laughs> get, the, get the hell out of here, but, <laughs> anyway, um, enough about my personal things, uh, Let's talk about the game. Quebec on Hive Tyrant and Fear on the Brother Captain, representing Grey Knights. So, um, it's not a race I'm overly familiar with, I would have to admit. But, uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, the map is Quest Heresy. I think this map will favor Quebec somewhat. Yes, the Hive Tyrant is pretty slow. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's got the same move speed as the Brother Captain, but generally the Gaunts are more mobile, so, um, get rid of that massive pointer by accident. Inquisitor Inquisitorial Stormtroopers capping, just very standard cap orders right now, nothing too much interesting happening. Quebec going for a very standard opening of two Termagants being expansive with this capping, which I think is correct considering that uh, when you have a mobility advantage, you want to use that mobility advantage. Like, there's no reason to be compact and you know, um, second Inquisitor or Stormtrooper coming in now. I think the impression I've gotten is that Grey Knights like hold some degree of flexibility in Tier 1, especially now that Inquisitorial Stormtroopers cost 210 requisition rather than 250. At 250, they were pretty prohibitive in the, for the amount that they bleed. They've got the same health as Guardians, yet, um, oh, have I, have I, yeah, I haven't muted myself, that would have been scary. And I'm not on brace screen, that would have been scary. Anyway, um, uh, so, as I was saying, Inquisitors and Stormtroopers, the cost reduction has seriously made them more viable as before they were extremely vulnerable to all sorts of fire, having the same health pool as Guardians and not having battle equipment or fleet of foot to really improve their survivability. Anyway, small engagement going off. There's a bit, there's a homogon flank incoming, but we are the hammer being used, so no problem whatsoever uh, for this army to just kite and kite. And yeah, the synapse did get there, but a little bit late, and the, the fear of doing very well with the brother captain to disrupt the back line. Meanwhile, using the we are the hammer buff to just kite this uh, hive tyrant all day, so this hive tyrant's actually accomplishing nothing. Um, Sergeant upgraded on the stormtroopers already so um, they're gonna have some nice survivability and increased DPS as they as their reload time is reduced and um, thereby increasing DPS just decap coming off from the brother captain um, one of the nice things about the brother captain as with like the hive turret is he can just stand there and just go I'm gonna cap and I don't I don't care basically there's very little that this hive like uh, this composition that Quebec has right now is going to be he might lose that yeah he's gonna lose that that's unfortunate um yeah i'm not sure if that was just greed or he lost that a bit but that's not that's really not good um de another decap coming off from fear and there's nothing that quebec can do about it certainly not when he's got his whole army here besides um it's very hard to kill extremely tanky melee commanders in melee, at least early on, like, uh, so, considering he lost his Termagants, like, the Brother Captain's gonna have a lot more freedom to just, uh, do stuff. Um, forces the retreat, though, Quebec does, and it's, it's an okay result, considering that he's, uh, really a squad down. Here comes the second Warrior Brood. Might be an Overwatch mistake, who knows. Um, I don't really think that a second Warrior Brood will help here, I mean, Bob Strangler might be nice against the range blob to pin them down in place, which is which would be nice, but that's yet another unit that doesn't do anything to the Brother Captain, who has now got the Nemesis Force Sword, which improves We Are the Hammer. Um, I think it I think it improves the damage reduction. That um, anyway, um, Cap going back 
really the map control is in Fear's favor, considering he's got fewer units. Yeah, like, oh, this cap not going off, but yeah, I would say that the map control is very even. But considering that Fear actually is down a squad, um, sorry, has one squad fewer, but is up a squad, having wiped the Terminons. Like he's doing, he's doing very well. Like Fear's doing very well. Like he, he's uh, bought his generators now. He's gonna have much more freedom to move. At least there isn't a level discrepancy yet. Like everything's still level one, but um, you know it's starting to look very good for the brother captain, considering that um, you know tier one pressure is, is the point of Kovex build, really. Like yes, you have a T two timing that is really good as well, but. GK comes online in tier 2 as well, which is something that uh, I, I think is worth noting. Anyway, strike goes down, maybe an accidental uh, retreat there. Would have been nice to... Oh, he's going for two... He's going for two grenade launchers, I think. It didn't see much point in... Uh, yeah, I think he's going to be going double grenade launchers. He might be going plasma gun, which would be nice considering there are two warrior brutes, but uh, I, th I think he's going to... I think the plan is to go double grenade launchers. Um, look at that damage, like, heavy armor, not really f helping them that much, and you know, that, that, that's quite a significant amount of damage for the next fight, and that might get that synapse bomb lash back, nobody's just going to retreat them, maybe heal them back up to full before bringing them out. Um, if he isn't going to heal them, then I don't know why he didn't retreat, why he retreated in the first place, actually, so, um, he needs, he needs to maintain map presence, especially considering that fear is, like, Considering that Fear has only three squads, he, he needs to be making something happen. Like, uh, he, well, look, let's look at the upkeep. Like, yeah, Kvek's getting a lot, like, a fair bit more requisition, actually. Um, actually, that's really surprising. Like, oh, yeah, that's why. Fear is just ca capping his natural right now. So, that's not as good. It's good. Like, Kvek's currently starving out um, Fear on map control. Yeah. Look how blue that map is right now. This is actually a pretty good result considering that he had lost the Termagant to begin with. Uh, Fear, on the other hand, I'm really surprised. Like, uh, if, I guess he's just fast teching, but he's. Yeah, he's got the double grenade launchers, I've mentioned double grenade launchers, and the two sergeants, and the Nemesis for a sword, and nothing on the strikes, but. Yeah, like this, this is a very, very power heavy tier 1, especially considering that. He's only um, effectively got th three squads. And I think he's planning to go to tier two soon. Really nice grenade barrage. That, um, those, wow. Oh my god, it's got wrecked there. Um, <laughs> look at that. Two of these, uh, oh, crippling poison going down on this brother captain. I think he's thinking about just going around the side of the wall, but currently just exposing himself to fire. Maybe, is he just blocking the choke point? Is that the point? He might lose the... Yeah, especially if he goes that retreat path. Wow, that retreat path. Wow. I mean, I don't know, that, I, I think that backfired and then charge armor. Looks like technically extended carapace up on the high tower. Lots of damage onto his Termagant brood. Gonna have to retreat promptly, so will these um, Inquisitorial Stormtroopers. But this is a pretty good result for um, fear, I suppose. I mean,. It's an okay result. It's it's not a terrible result. Like he got a lot of damage on the Terragon. Um His brother captain went down. Sure, fed fed Quebec a bit of experience, but Fear was floating a lot of requisition. Considering, I mean, I mean, look, he rebought and he's still got a lot of requisition in behind. So he's not too concerned about losing the, the brother captain. Yes, it's a bit of a loss. He can't keep doing that forever. Strikes tearing up these Hormigon broods. Upgraded with adrenal glands. Doesn't matter. Strikes well with their superior melee skill just tearing into Hormagons and Hive Tyrant not gonna go down to like with that to extend the carapace and Fear just re stabilizing the situation and trying to um, tech up it. well he's, he's at tier 2 now trying to upgrade oh he's getting a Vindicare Assassin okay yeah okay that makes sense Vindicare Assassin definitely makes sense considering the warrior brutes very nice targets to snipe in general being like relatively slow but I mean it, it, it's it's nice like to have target selection against um, uh, Tyranids in general just because they are so reliant on their synapse creatures um, or rather they're so vulnerable to having their synapse creatures like focused down and 
any damage that goes onto gauntlets instead of the actual silence creatures themselves tends to be wasted or inefficient at the very least. So um, notice how Fear has been focus firing the Termagants that were out of the Sinatra range. Uh, the moment they were in Sinatra's range, he decided, yeah, this is a bit too risky. In comes the charge from the Hive Tyrant. Premature retreat, I think. Oh, okay. Um, strikes being slow on the retreat by comparison. Uh, that's game mold, only losing a model. I would say that I kind of feel like he's pretty fortunate to only lose one model considering how, you know, like literally. Um, the surround almost happened there, and uh, thankfully for fear, he managed to get out okay. So Vindicare Assassin upgraded now with the extended operations, which um, increases his HP and his energy regen, I believe. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's being a pain here. He's got mobility and range on his side, so it's, it's, it's a pretty good result. I don't think this. I think the high time might be able to hang around, but he's gonna get grenade launcher surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good retreat. Uh, on, on the flip side, not too bad. He creates space for these Hormagons to cap or not, as they're forced. Uh, they just take the decap and run away, which is probably correct. Uh, Warrior Brood just doing some capping. Like, Kvet going T3, though, that surprises me. Uh, Fear going for a tier 2 Dreadnought timing push. And, yeah, I think I think that's um, it's legitimate to feel like he's got the space, like Kvet hasn't really, like, you know, he's putting map pressure, but he's not really, like, pressuring him in any fights, like, in general, Fear has been able to retreat with minimal losses, and, like, you know, there's a bit, oh, there was the, the sniper rifle, and popping a model instantly, which is pretty nice, um, Lictor coming for Quebec, which is actually, <laughs> is, 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 is Fear gonna be ready for this? I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be curious about how this goes because um, yeah so fear should know something's up he should know that Quebec hasn't put any extra pressure hasn't built anything else hasn't even got any upgrades on the warrior boots these are just like vanilla warrior boots just running around and I don't know like I, I wonder if he's gonna be ready for this because right now he has got he has got detection obviously like but the Vindicare assassin I mean the Vindicare assassins near the detection quite often, so that's fine. Hive Tyrant is in the thick of it. Gonna be in quite a bit of trouble if he doesn't... Yeah, like, yeah, that, that GK Dreadnought does a lot of damage. I'm not sure these warriors want to go in there. Oh, in comes the snipe from the, uh, from the flesh from the Lictor Alpha, and Lictor is not right-clicking. Bit slow. Oh, that would have so... He would have been so dead had the Lictor Alpha literally a dead leap. And he's gonna get right click. Nope. Nope. It's unlucky. I mean, yeah, like if uh, Kvek had been on top of his micro, he could have um, gave the attack order on the um, Vindicare assassin straight after, and he would definitely have killed him while the Vindicare assassin was on his back. But unfortunately, uh, he didn't get the focus melee off and the surround off, so just. Um, <coughs> Fear gets off scot free there, and I would say that considering that this the, the whole engagement pretty much was a ploy to kill off the Vindicare assassin, I don't think he'll, like he'll get a better opportunity than that. Considering that Lictor, uh, the Lictor, Lictor's energy is very low right now, having expended it all for infiltrate, deadly jump, and for um, flesh heat, flesh hook. So I don't know, like I. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm like, I kind of feel like this um, this lifter choice would have been genius had he picked off the Vindicare Assassin, and now it's just getting into a bit of a pickle. Yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That lifter does not want to be there. Oh my God! Look, look at that dreadnought claw doing work. And yeah, there's uh, adrenal glands up now, but these warriors are getting extremely low and. The GK Dreadnought pops his... I can't remember what you call that ability anymore, but that... That's another case of where I'm pretty sure... No, actually, no, maybe not with 230 health, but... I don't know, this Dreadnought's wrecking these melee warriors, and it's not gonna... Like... Hive Tyrant has charge armor. Like, he is still gonna really struggle against stuff like uh, the Dreadnought. Like, if you had the invulnerability, then that's different, but... 
I don't know. This is starting to look bad as um, Fear game the Dreadnought Claw. I definitely think that was the right choice. Like, uh, getting melee walkers is um, definitely ideal when you want to counter melee infantry. Yeah, it's a bit weak against um, Crushing Claw plus um, the Bonded Exoskeleton, but the problem is for Kavek that he is pretty resource starved. Like, he hasn't got that much map control to support his economy. Like, he hasn't got that much upkeep, but. Um, the, the problem is he hasn't got that much wreck income, so I'd like to try and do a bit of work here. I think I might just force the retreat. Yeah, I just forced the retreat. Um, if you're trying to come into the center again, and yeah, I, d I just don't see how Quebec is meant to proceed from here. Yeah, he goes, he doubles back for the Venom Brute, which is required. You need that to counter the Dreadnought, but to go to tier three, like the the. The whole play was to get to tier 3, impose yourself on the game, and shut your opponent out of the game with a tech advantage, and that just hasn't happened, and Kavek is doubling back for a Venom Brood, and Fear is the one going tier 3 now, and having all the map control and all the play, and Deadly Leap, and Lictor is being a pain? Don't get me wrong, like, the Lictor is definitely being a pain, and he's, but the thing is, if your Lictor is ratting rather than contributing in a fight, then you're in a bit of trouble, and here comes the charge. <laughs> Look at that, first hit special attack from the Dreadnought, and yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of damage. In, in comes the, the Flesh Hook and the, um, I guess, ha and the Emperor's Hammer Wrath thing, sorry. Ouch, half Tyrant goes down. Brother Captain, now level 3, Great Not Dreadnought pops his ability. I think it's Maelstrom or something. I like for the life of me, I cannot remember. Um, yeah, this is actually really brutal. This is really brutal. But at least there's a Venom Brood out now, but Fear picking up on that really quickly and immediately sends him to melee. And frankly, this Grey Knight Dreadnought is going to be a dominant force for the rest of the game, unless it goes down right here. And for some reason, I doubt that's going to happen. And it doesn't happen. Picks off one two models from each of those squads two models from the other warrior squad yeah yeah that's that's pretty brutal so that's that's a lot of models lost and the the hive tyrant who's still level one by the way brother captain now level four pick up the mantle of terror giving the canticle of absolution i believe yeah i think so um oh green Knight terminators and liber demonica on the way so really fear is gained to his late game he is massively ahead right now like VPs yeah forget about VPs there comes the concede from Quebec and I do not blame him it's um, it was that that fast tech ploy that just didn't work out like he could have gotten a lot of you uh, like a few units to shore up his uh, his tier 2 and help him win in tier 2 that like, will not at least not win in tier 2 but uh, but transition uh, I believe so. Yeah, that's uh, I've been streaming. 